Today I'm going to show you seven tips to start serving like a professional tennis player. Step number one, let's start with the foundations of a good serve and that is the service stance. What we want to do is have the front foot pointing at a 45 degree angle towards the net post. We don't want to take it out any further than this. I see some players, you know, starting like this. You don't want to do that. It's a big mistake. It's a no-no. And you'll see that some of the best players even start with the front foot parallel with the baseline because it allows us to turn our shoulders more and get our back to the net for a bigger range of motion when we go to uncoil. So you should have the back foot, okay, about shoulder distance apart and you want this toe of the back foot lined up with this back heel right here. So this is how we start properly for the serve. Now the next thing that you want to do is make sure that you have a good toss. So for tip number two, you want to make sure that as we toss, our arm goes straight up like a lever. Okay, we want to pretend that we're holding a cup of water or an egg and be very gentle and delicate with the ball. Some people advocate for holding it in the palm or the fingertips. I hold it in the fingertips. It's also what I teach people, but of course you're welcome to try the other method. And we want to feel like we're just letting go with the ball. Now, what you want to make sure to do is not just stop the arm and just jerk it. Then your toss is going to be a little bit inconsistent. So when you let go of the ball and the toss, around right shoulder height. You want to make sure that the tossing arm keeps going up. So don't just stop it dead. Now, the third tip to start serving like a pro player is putting everything together and synchronizing with the legs. As the racket goes up, the legs come down. And we want to try and get this to happen at the same time. And this is what we would call the coiling phase of the serve. We want to keep the racket in front of our body and on this side for as long as possible. A lot of players will develop what we call a leak on the serve when the hitting arm is ahead of the body. But we want to learn how to use our body first and have the arm and racket come along for the ride. So as we toss, the racket comes up and the legs come down. This is the power position. The power position is going to be our shoulder over our shoulder and our legs as low as we can comfortably get, okay? And the more bend, the more leg drive that we can get later in the swing. And once we're in the power position, right, letter Y, shoulder over our shoulder, the tip of the racket is pointing up to the side, the racket's on the outside of our body and loose. We're gonna go into the fourth most important part of the serve which is actually starting the swing with the legs. Okay, right, it's counterintuitive. A lot of people are focusing on just boom, this whipping action up here. We wanna make sure that we start from the ground up. So the first move of the serve to initiate the swing is actually exploding up and into the court. Watch my legs on this serve. Don't focus on anything else. Right, what you'll notice is that I always land on the front foot. You wanna make sure you do that. You don't wanna do this, okay? That's gonna throw off your serve and the entire vertical component. We wanna get height and make sure that we're landing on that front foot. Now the fifth most important component for a good serve is having our elbow in the proper position. I'm gonna break down this component because it's a little bit confusing. Some people say high elbow, low elbow. Now I'm going to clarify what you should do. So firstly, you want to make sure that the elbow stays kind of on the outside of our body. We don't want it to leak back here, right? The elbow getting back is going to be a byproduct of us turning our shoulders and coiling, but we don't just want to pull the racket back without turning our body. And you want to make sure that it's not tucked in, right? We sh there should be a considerable space in the armpit, probably about 90 degrees. But you also want to make sure that you're not just up here like this. So what we want is our elbow 
up, but we also need to tilt our shoulders so that we can flip our shoulders to start the serve and have the racket come along for the ride. So it's kind of a combination of having the elbow up, but also getting it down to the ground by getting our shoulder over our shoulder, which is achieved not necessarily by manipulating our hips, but the deeper the leg bend and the tossing arm motion. Okay, and you wanna have this kind of loose to the side. Think about it like a, a quarterback or an MLB pitcher about to throw a baseball, right? They're very loose. They keep the ball on the outside and boom, only at the last second does the ball come behind. And that's gonna be what happens with our racket. We're gonna throw everything and then boom, the racket comes last. So that's what you should be doing with your elbow. And again, when the swing starts, the elbow goes down, racket tip up, elbow down, boom. Elbow up, racket down. So that's how that works. Now the sixth most important thing is having a loose wrist on your serve. You wanna stay loose to famoose the goose. Don't squeeze the racket at more than a three out of 10. The best of the best, you could rip the racket out of their hand right before a serve. So I'm not squeezing the grip. I should be able to maneuver it and glide it through my fingertips, okay? And this is gonna help you get racket head speed and get lag on your serve, right? We want the racket coming along for the ride. So we don't wanna feel like we're forcing it with the arm, okay? You wanna feel like we throw the body first. And even on that serve, I'm barely holding on to the racket. Now, the seventh most important thing for a good serve is when you go to uncoil into the shot, we don't wanna collapse down, okay? We wanna go up and get as much air time as possible. And something that prevents a lot of people from doing this is forgetting about the non-hitting hand. A lot of people, they don't even recognize its existence as soon as the ball leaves their hand, okay? What happens with a lot of players is they toss the ball and then they go, boom. Notice how my hand just kind of falls down to here. What you wanna do is keep it up for as long as possible, stir the swing with the legs, go, and then boom. You gotta pull it into your chest. Okay, this will help you stay up longer. It will help you stay with the ball. And I really hope these seven tips make a big difference on your serve. In any event, thanks for tuning in and use what you've learned to modernize your game. If you like what you learned here, I recommend taking the next step and trying out my free online course. You can get it by clicking the link down in the description.